everyone, welcome back to my channel. So we are back with episode number two. We are gonna get through the essential planner pages in my new notebook setup. So little disclaimer, I was going to start this in May. I have now decided that I wanna be in here so badly. I'm going to be including April now. So what I'm going to try to do is fit April to December in one notebook which is, what's that, nine months? Nine months, okay. So I'm gonna be trying to fit nine months of my life into here, and we're gonna see how that goes. I may or may not make it. If I don't, if I feel like I'm gonna need another notebook, then I'll get another notebook and we'll finish off the year. But what I'm gonna to try, to try to do, what I'm going to strive to try to do is be able to fit six months in a notebook. Um, but again, since we're kind of experimenting here with a new layout and all that fun stuff, hoping that I can fit the rest of the year in here. But anyways, so like I said, today is going to be essential planner pages. So that's going to include my cover page, my putting down my year to glance, my trigger list, and my uh, setting up my index and my brain dump page. So let's go ahead and just kind of look at things to get a little familiar with it again. Um, so I initially was going to paste this in, but I decided that I just was not feeling that being pasted in, pasted in. So what I've gone ahead and done is I've penciled out exactly what I want on the cover and I'm going to attempt to not smudge any pencil and fill it in with these guys. Um, so the markers I'm using is the Tombow 158 and the 228 for the um, leaves here. And then I'm gonna use the 992 for the bullet journal. And then I'm going to outline my frame here with this uh, Faber Castle um, artist pen. And this is in black and it's a medium um, tip. Okay, next off will be setting up my index page and my brain dump page. I will then set in my holidays and my year to glance calendar and then my trigger list and my kind of post-it inbox, which is not really gonna have anything. Um, so I'm gonna take this out, but I do have my trigger list. I just freshly printed it. So here it is. I'm just gonna have to cut it out. And then I'm thinking about using these two washies as kind of my first couple pages and like trackers and stuff, like just washi coordinating. I haven't quite decided if I wanna do that yet, but I'll figure it out. So let's go ahead and get started. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go fast paced with doing this because I need to be able to focus and not talk and hopefully make sure that I do the same kind of lettering that I did. So yes, enjoy. But I went ahead and I erased all the pencil marks too, so that's how the end product looks. Um, I may, if I have time or if I feel like I need to, I may go with a uh, colored pencil just to maybe kind of fill this in a little bit to give it a little bit more dimension. But I think for now it looks really nice and I'm very happy that I decided to do my own instead of, yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out of here to make it a little easier for now to kind of get everything to lay flat. Okay, so then this part is going to be my index. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to split it into um, two columns. So it's 23 across. I think what I'm going to do is the same thing I'm gonna do with my trackers. So when I go to do my video for my trackers, you guys will see what I mean because I'm gonna be doing my trackers uh, two months per page, okay? And then so I'm gonna be splitting it halfway down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over 11, so one, two, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and I'm gonna draw a line down here. I'm debating, do I wanna do this? Yeah, I'm gonna do it in pencil, I'm gonna do it in pencil. 
I'm gonna draw a line down here. Keep going all the way down. And then I'm gonna make another line one column over. So it'll be two columns, but there's gonna be um, a grid space in between. So it's gonna look just like this. Okay, and then all I'm gonna do, debating if I wanna go ahead how do I want to do this? Do I want to do all of my... Yeah, I think he'll go better with that color. Okay. So then I'm going to go ahead and write in index. So I have index here, and then I think I'm going to go ahead and just underline it. Should I underline it? Oh, let me see what that would look like. This is a good thing about having so many spare notebooks, is that I can literally try it out. I love how it came out looking better going fast than it did while I was going slow. If I were to just like, mm, no, at least not with that. Okay, so we're gonna leave it just like that. Um. Oh my god, this is what I hate. Okay, I'll come back to that. So then I'm gonna have my brain dump here. And then what I'm gonna do with this one is I'm gonna put just a nice box around, if I can pick up this ruler, a nice box around the outline of the grid. I did something similar to this, like this in my A5 when I set it up, like feels like forever ago. Um, but I like how it kind of makes the page stand out. And of course, this is why we have white out. I got this in my style planner thing. Very cute. Perfect. See? No mess. It's a little off center, but it's whatever. Okay, so then we'll keep going with this line. And then we go across. Right. And we learn from my mistake. so I can kind of get that dot. Okay, perfect. So I think this page needs a little bit of washi. So I think I'll go with this one and I'm just gonna put a little bit right down at the bottom up to list. So I think this is the tool. <laughs> This is the top, I'm hoping. 
And then I'm just gonna kind of follow right along up until I get to the L and my ruler. Go right up to here, see, perfect. It's just a little bit that I needed, okay. So, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna leave the index like that. I think it's fine. Okay, so then all I'm gonna do with these is I'm just gonna stick the sticker paper down. So we'll do holidays on the left and year at a glance on the right. So, it's such an awkward angle for me. Well, hoping that's straight. Okay, looks pretty straight to me. And then I'll put the ear to glance the same way. Sorry, so quiet, takes a lot of concentration with that. Okay, so then here I think I'll add in the other washi. Um, probably just like little bits at the top of the holidays and then at the bottom of the year at a glance. I don't wanna go too washi heavy because I don't want that to be the main focus. Okay, perfect, and then my trigger list. So I do have to cut this one, so hopefully I can cut it straight. Or at least somewhat straight. And it's already not straight, but it's whatever. I'm gonna bring my paper cutter with me today. So it's a little off. Right, I'm not gonna bother cutting the other side, because it's gonna make it 10 times worse. So then I will just go ahead and put the brain dump page in, not brain dump, the trigger list page. Okay. Perfect. Um, and then again, I'll go with the moon one, but I'll go all across the top with this one. Okay, per oh, God, please tell me this will come up. That was so not straight. There we go, that's straighter. Okay, perfect. And then on this page is where I will have um, any sticky notes that I need to put down or anything that would require me um, to just kind of stick it in whatever it needs or just kind of throw it in here. Um, but that is pretty much it. So the other thing I'm going to go ahead and do real quick is just start numbering my pages. What did I do with that pencil? Okay. So actually I'm not going to do it in pencil. I'm going to do it in this gray. Um, yep. Not even going to try to pronounce that. Stat, Stadler, Stadler, Stad, Barber. Um, so I'm just gonna do it like that, just so it's not like uh, out there, but you know, it's enough for me to see the page numbers. Three, four, and then five. So I'm just gonna kind of do that as it goes, and then I'll fill this in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill in what it is. And then the page number. And the reason why I do that instead of the page number first is because let's say I fill up this brain dump page and I throw another one in here somewhere down the line. That way I can kind of do um, the threading that I would need to do. So I know that there's one on page one, but there's also another one on page 120. So I can kind of know where I have all my brain dumps in here. So that is pretty much 
the planner essentials. So as you can see, all it is was my cover page. Now I'm just gonna transfer the key that I currently have, um, which is here. So this key will just transfer over to here. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. So after that, just so you guys can see, I did rearrange everything since my intro video. I told you that I was gonna kind of rearrange things, so I did. So I'm gonna have my health trackers in the front here. So I have April to December. And then I have my kids' health trackers. And I'm just gonna do one page. I may just split it up um, down the middle like I did for the index, just because I don't think I'm gonna need two pages, but I can at least do two columns. And then if I need to, again, thread any more pages, then I'll do that. And then this is where I'm gonna do my tracking. So it's gonna be set up the same kind of two column way. I'll show you guys my idea. I did it in my extra one that I have here. Um, this is kind of the idea that I was doing. It's inspired by the Peanuts Planet Co. insert, but so I have what I track at the top, and then I'm gonna kind of just put the month sticker here since I don't track this many items, but that's not enough space at the top. Um, I'll put the month sticker just kind of going uh, vertically here. So I have one to 31. Obviously sometimes for the months if they don't have 31, then I'll kind of just block out the day. But yeah, I think that this will be nice. I'll have two months per page. So I'll have May, um, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and then December is gonna be its own here. And then that's where I'll go into my monthlies. Oh, oh no, I forgot to put my April monthly. <laughs> all right, well, I'm gonna have to kind of throw these all back one. Um, but I'll have all the monthlies here. So May, June, July so on and so forth, all of them here. And then I'll have my um, future plans just in case anything for 2024 comes up. And then I'll have kind of like a blank dash where I'll put maybe like the weeklies, like a weekly um, kind of dashboard or like title page. And then I'll have all my weeklies in one. So I have 39 weeklies. And then after all those is where I would start my dailies and collections. So this is leaving me nine months worth of dailies and collections, I'm hoping, but we will see. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. I'm excited to be back in B6 and just excited for this new type of layout that I'm doing. I'm kind of hoping it works out and that I'm happy with it, but uh, I guess time will tell. So yeah, if you guys have any questions about where anything was from, you know the drill, just drop it down in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!